What up, guys? Um, Saturday in humid Maryland. Fucking last week was so fucking hot here. The humidity was brutal. It's fucking disgusting. Fucking weather. Whatever. So this came in. My daughter's like Ryan, or Daddy, whatever she calls me, whatever the fuck she wants. FedEx is here. What? I thought it was something for my wife. So I grabbed the box, it's got my name on it. I'm like, this is fucking weird. I mean, I know I, know I have a few things coming in, in, in the works, but I wasn't expecting anything this quick. And then with Monday being a holiday, you know, kind of fucking wasn't expecting anything until at least Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that, you know. So this is here, and then I started to read the address to try to figure out, you know, who, who it was from, and uh, there was no name on it. It just has, you know, a uh, um, address and with me on it, but it, it had, you know, it's overnight, Saturday, a priority overnight, unreal, but that costs a grip. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I already kind of cracked it open just because I didn't know, I wanted to do the video and kind of give a little shout out about what it was and not have to make a video if it was something retarded or something I didn't know, you know, whatever. So I kind of opened it up, opened the bag up a little bit. And I know what it is, so this is fucking cool. It's from a gentleman named John Smith. He did a lot of work for uh, Death Studios, did a lot of their uh, masks uh, through the years. This was a commission piece, I believe he did, uh, probably 10, usually commissions run to 10. And when I first saw it, when I first started collecting, I really wanted one, which is pretty much impossible to get because, like I said, Unless a collector's willing to give them up or part with them, you're pretty much fucked. And uh, I was talking to somebody, and this happened to pop up in the conversation. And um, kind of told him to send me some pics, because I kind of forgot. I, I knew the gentleman's name, but I kind of didn't know the name with the Medusa that I wanted. Um, Medusa that I wanted. So he sent me some pics, and it was the one. So I was very, very excited to uh, finally be owning one of these. Um, kind of like, definitely gonna be a highlight piece in the collection and probably one, it's definitely the first Medusa that I've ever owned, so. Uh, another dude named Timothy Keeney, I believe that's how you spell his last name, Keeney, or say his last name. Uh, he does a very good one. He had one at Mask Fest with like, Mask Fest with like uh, white, white hair. It was really cool, he does, he, he does a lot of really cool work. And uh, definitely, if I ever attended a mask fest, I would definitely stop by his table, give him a shout out, and probably pick up one of his pieces. But this just happened to come up, and I got really lucky, and I kind of had to, 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 to make this happen just for me. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. I, I thought it was from somebody else at first, and then I was like, well. So we got some stickers. And if you guys ever want to send me stickers or fucking stickers for your company, I put them on my coolers, mini fridge, air purifier, anywhere I can put stickers, I typically pull, put them, love stickers, I'm a nerd for that shit, so we are going to, oh sorry, fucking banging my cat around with this box, she's okay though, she shits on our, she shits in our tub, so she can take a couple hits to the head with this box. I don't care. She ruins many of my mornings getting up. She thinks it's cool to shit in our big jacuzzi tub. Instead of a litter box. Is it is it cool or whatever? I don't know. It pisses me off. It smells like shh. It smells horrible. So anyway. Wow. Here it is, guys. All of its fucking glory. Ugh. Paint job is exquisite on this thing. This thing is a thing of fucking beauty. There she is. Medusa from John Smith. I don't even know the year this thing when he did this. Um, no clue. Uh, somebody did bring up was it from Clash of the Titans? I don't know. I would have to say yes if uh, I was uh, being quizzed. Um, I think even. Timothy's maybe was who knows I mean it's a it's um you know I don't know maybe, maybe, I, I don't know if it was based off that or not all I do know is it's fucking a badass sculpt in fucking credible in person everything looks so much better in person like 
the gentleman who uh, shot the pictures of this for me looked good, but I think he had his flash on. And I don't typically like to uh, take any pictures of masks with flash on. Um, I just like the natural light because flash tends to just ruin everything. I'm not sure if he had the flash on or not, though. I think he did. Anyway, it's besides the point. So this is just fucking awesome. The snakes are cool. They're all one color. I believe there was two variants. One where her head was alive, and then one where it was actually severed, and then there was like blood down here and shit. Um, a couple of different paint schemes. I believe David Lady painted this one. I believe he did, but look at all of that work. It's pretty fucking dope. All those snakes tangled together. Really fucking cool. And then the sculpt itself is just really fucking awesome. Side profile is awesome. Oh, man. Really fucking awesome. Very stoked to own this. Uh, this thing's like mint. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Mint condition sculpt. Um, our piece, latex piece. So now we gotta figure out a home for this bad boy. Looking around, don't have much room. But I did want it in the case where it was probably gonna get some sort of blue LED lighting. Then I would have to move all my cases again because the only one that has that blue LED lighting you can see in my video right here. It actually jumps. See that? How the how it jumps? The fucking lighting. It, you can't see that when you're looking at it. You can only, only the phone will pick that up, which is fucking crazy. It's ha it happens in every video. I had somebody ask me one time, "What the fuck is that? Is your LEDs fucked up?" I was like, "No. If you're here in my room and look at it, it's fine. Only on the cameras. Cameras don't pick up a lot of good stuff either, which sucks. So you kind of like in person. This thing is just like fucking amazing. The sculpt is so good on it. Like I said, just such a cool piece." Super fucking hard to get your hands on one of these. Um, you know, like I said, collectors or somebody would just have to be willing to part with it. But John Smith, uh, kudos to you, sir, for bringing this thing to uh, to life. And uh, the eyes are cool too, because they're almost like sunk. They're like the uh, the pupils are sunken in. They're not just even with the entire eye. And then the the eye itself, you know, is kind of just sunken in. So, pretty fucking neat. That was a, a, how he sculpted it, I guess. I'm not sure if he made these wearable. They were all fucking, because um, there's no way my head would fit in this. So, I'm just wondering if they were all, any of them were wearable. They were, they, I'm sure they were just all display pieces, uh, if I had to guess. So. But, uh, thanks, John Smith, for making this badass thing. And uh, thank you, you know who you are, for hooking me up with this. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, like I said... Just another fucking triumphant piece for the collection. I haven't used that word in a long time. It felt good. Triumphant. Is that even, can you even use that in that sentence? I don't know. I throw it up. I'm fucking retarded. I don't care. But this fucking thing rules. I love the fucking lighting on it here. This is why I do my videos here because I have like this, you know, it's not a, uh, that bright white like. Uh, you know how people get the lights nowadays where it's the energy saver lights and shit and they're like bright white and shit I can't stand those fucking lights. I like the, like the yellow It almost gives it more of a natural lighting, but this this is why I've been doing my videos right here um, next to uh, the Piranha tank and with this with this with this uh, overhead light right here because it just it's almost like you can just see The scope the depth the, the shadowing everything it catches everything in this in this lighting uh, situation so but there it is, flawless, this thing's mint condition, super stoked on it, fucking cool, man, I haven't gotten anything this badass on a Saturday in a really fucking long time, uh, I always love Saturday arrivals, it never fucking happens, but I love Saturday arrivals because, um, you know, I have the time to kind of enjoy it, like I knew, I, I wish I knew this was coming because I would have been fucking stoked, pumped all morning. Finally got my fish tank cleaned out and all that shit. My errands done today, so I'm very excited about that. I can just start fresh. The grass is done. It's supposed to fucking rain all week here, so you, you know when you're a homeowner and shit, you gotta jump on everything and kind of look ahead and kind of plan and shit. And being a parent as well it sucks, but it does have its good features as well. But yeah, the kids will fucking drive you nuts quick. But they're being pretty good today, so I'm gonna jinx it. But boom, Medusa. What the fuck is not to like about this? 
I definitely need to pick up Timothy's as well. I've shouted out to him two or three times. Um, he makes a killer fucking Medusa. Uh, I, I want to get his as well and, and display both of these together. I'm very stoked uh, on this piece. As you can tell, um, if Lady painted this, which I believe he did, kudos to you, Dr. Lady. You are the man. I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, and you made it to Mask Fest with, with your wife and uh, got that courageous award. Very cool. Very cool. You guys, you guys are fucking masters of your craft and you keep nerds like me uh, happy with cool ass pieces like this and paint up. So kudos to all you mask makers and, uh, and our painters and just anybody related to the hobby. Just to give, giving you guys a shout out. You guys are awesome at what you do, and um, I think uh, I think um, people should praise you at like uh, sporting events and shit, and stuff like that. I really do. You guys should definitely. There, there should be like fucking some kind of like um, you know, like an award event for this type of shit. Not mask fest, but like an awards in general, man. Like this is cool shit. Anyway, I'll shut the fuck up, because now I'm not making any sense at all, which happens a lot. So, uh, John Smith, John Smith, and then his Bark at the Moon, uh, whatever it was called, the fucking thing he did, the Ozzy tribute piece was fucking sick. One day, one day, I'll be, I'll be lucky enough to own that. I don't give a fuck if it's a Death Studios version or his version. I don't care. I would just like to own the piece, so, because Jeff does really good work as well. We all know that. Jeff, uh, Jeff is the man. Anybody who can still be in business this long after that many years, one guy, uh, you know, selling masks for under a hundred dollars. I mean, and, and and the pulls and everything are just so fucking nice, you know. And you guys all know that Death Studios is the shit. But there it is. Thank you, John. Thank you, my boy. You know who you are. We're not done by a long shot. A lot more stuff coming from you. And uh, like I said. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. I know I will.